going to point you to Jesus. All right, all right. I think we're ready to go. The green Amen. light is on. I just had to get you out the green, y'all. Amen. Right? Amen. I want to um, call your attention to 2 Corinthians 5 and 21. Now, I promise you, we ain't going to be long, but we're going to be strong. Now, the battery life on that, whatever you want to call it, phone, computer, Amen. whatever, Amen. it ain't that long. So we got to move on. 2 Corinthians 5, 21. The Bible says, for he made him mm -hmm. to be seen. For us who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. Now, I'm going to read that one more time for you Amen. too now. 2 Corinthians 5, 21. I'm going to read it again for you too and you too. All right? Amen. I'm going to read it again. I know you missed it. I'm going to read it again for you too and you too. <laughs> Amen. That's all right. Bible says, He had made him to be sin for us. He knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. Paul said, God hung yeah. on the cross. Yes, he did. His son, as a sin barrier for our sins. You don't mind. I want to briefly, just for a few minutes, I want to talk on a subject called Hung Up for Our Hang Ups. Amen. Hung up for our hang ups. Everybody, I'm going to speak for you in here and you on YouTube. Everybody in here has a hang up. <laughs> and that hang up is spelled with only three letters. Yes, amen. S I N. Say it, boy. Now let's talk about sin. Let's define sin so you uh, 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 can grab sin. Sin is to trust pass against the truth of God. That's what sin is. Every time you sin, you're a trespasser. If you ever broke in somebody's house, you're a trespasser. And sin is trespassing against God's established truth. Now walk with me if you can. Sin is going beyond God's set line. You see, God got a set line. And God says when you pass this line, you have gone out of bounds. You have sinned. Amen. As a sinner, we are filled with sin. Plural. Mm -hmm. Now I want you to understand there's a difference between sin and sins, S-I-N. You see, S-I-N, sin is the root. And S-I-N, sins, is the fruit. Sin is the root, R-O-T, R-O-O-T, and sins is your fruit. You grow a root, you will produce fruit mm -hmm. called sin. sin. Amen. Break it down to me, preacher. Sin is a revolt against God. I heard you, but I don't care what you say, God. <laughs> I'm still going to do it my way. way. Sin is saying no to God and yes to self. Am I talking to anybody in here? Amen, amen. Am I talking to anybody yes, sir. in here? Because if I ain't, you, you can go and be dismissed. Amen. 
You might as well come on with it. It ain't going to get no better than this. <laughs> Let me open a window that you might see sin. One day while working on my job, on my work truck, my work shirt got hanged up with a nail. And the nail, it tore my shirt. Yes, it All did. Right, preacher. The nail ripped my shirt. The nail strayed my shirt. And likewise, when we have hang-ups with sin, sin rips our soul. Sin strips our minds. And sin rips open our relationship with God. Amen. You see, in the church, we're talking about a whole lot of things, but the main thing we need to talk about is sin. Because sin is separating us from our God. Amen. 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 And Jesus says, I tell ye nay, Luke 13, 3 Amen. and 5, except you repent, you perish. Except you turn, you burn. All of us have hang-ups with sin. God's solution for our sinfulness is the scriptures. I'm going to say that again. All of us have hang-ups with sin, and God always has a solution for sin. God's solution for sin is his scriptures. John 8, 32, you shall know the truth. You shall know the scripture. You shall know the truth and the truth. Will set you free. Amen. Not only God's solution for sin is the scriptures, but God's solution for sin is his son. John 8 36. And if the son makes you free, ye shall be free indeed. Amen. 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 So you want freedom from sin? You need the scriptures of God. Amen. You want freedom from sin? You need the son of God. Amen. Amen. God's solution for our hang-up is a hookup. Amen, Lord. Amen. So on the cross, on the cross, so we wouldn't be lost. On the cross, God hung up. He hung up his son for our hang-ups. Hang Amen, amen. I said, you might well come on with it. It ain't going to get no better than this. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Anybody in here with a hang up? Be honest. Anybody in here with a hang up? Amen. 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 Well, if you got a hang up, if I hang up, God hung up his son on the cross. I'm talking on hung up for hang ups. Amen. Paul said, back to 2 Corinthians 5, 21, Paul said, God made his son, God made his son, Jesus, get this now, to be sin. Stop right there. He made him to be sin. Never was Jesus a sinner. Amen. But he became sin in order to save us sinners. Isaiah 53, verse 5. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities, our hang-ups. Amen. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. Every sin God put up on Jesus. Amen. Well, every Amen. one of your sin was put up on Jesus. With his stripes, we're healed. We're healed. Uh huh. I want to ask you something before we go another foot. And I want you to think about the question before you try to answer it in your mind. Because I know you ain't going to try to answer it over. But what is the greatest thing God made? 
Somebody would say the heavens and earth. Somebody would say the stars and the moon. Somebody might have say oxygen. Somebody might say the clouds and the birds and man, but you're wrong. They are great creations of God. But they're not the greatest thing that God created. Right there in your book. That's why I want you to look at 2 Corinthians 5, 21 for your own answer. What is the greatest thing God made? 2 Corinthians 5, 21. Paul, tell us. What is the greatest thing God made? We have our answer. Paul said God made Jesus sin. The greatest thing God made is for Jesus to be our sin bearer. I don't want Amen. you to miss it. The greatest thing God made was Jesus. He made him sin. But what kind of sin? Sin bearer. Not a sin transgressor, but a sin bearer. Amen. Our sins. Somebody will walk with me. We all was hanging on a hook uh -huh. called sin. Uh -huh. And the only way we could Get unhooked. God chose to hang up his son <coughs> to unhook us from our sins. Notice Paul said he was made sin. M-A-D-E-S-I-N. Made sin. Made sin. But never sin. a sinner. Amen. <coughs> he became Addiction, but never addicted. <coughs> never addicted to crack or smack or Jimmy Mac. He's <laughs> at the cross. <laughs> he was getting us back. Uh -huh. Paul said he became sin, but never a sin up. Since Jesus was hung up for our Hang-ups. <coughs> what is your hang-up? Hang hey, Amen. Uh -huh. Come on, preach. First Corinthians 3, 9, Paul gives us our hang-up list. First Corinthians 3, 9. You better, you ought to turn there. Y'all write it down, turn there. Y'all to share this with your neighbor. Amen, Lord. Paul gives us our hang-up list. Amen, Lord. Paul says, Here's the hang up list. Paul says, Know ye not, know ye not, that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. You need to know that. No unrighteous man in the end will live in heaven with God. Amen. Well, but Paul says, Be not Deceived. The devil got a whole lot of folk deceived. The devil and gone in his world, John Revelation 20, to deceive the whole world. Paul said, Be not deceived, be not ignorant, be not fool, be not blind, be not deceived. Deceive about what, Paul? God's hang up lips. Be not deceived. Neither. Now here's God's hang-up list. He's going to begin the hang-up list, all right? He said, be not deceived. What? He said, neither. You better put your seatbelts on. Neither fornicators. Any fornicators in the house? Mm -hmm. Any fornicators on YouTube? He says, neither fornicators. Now, this, this idea about fornicators. It's a little bigger term than adultery. See, a fornicator, he'll fornicate with a man, he'll fornicate with an animal, have sex with <laughs> dogs and cats, and, yeah, and, and, and people are going around here having uh, sex with dogs and cows. And uh, so it's a much bigger term than adultery, but he says, neither fornicators, don't be deceived. Idolaters. These are idol worship. 
These are folk who worship their cause. Uh -huh. Worship their wives. Worship their children. Anything you put before God becomes an idol worship. You love it more than you love God. Ain't nothing down here that you ought to love more than God. No person, Amen. no Amen. place, no thing. If you love them more than God, it become an idol. And he said, neither idolaters, idol worship. Don't be deceived. Amen. Then he mentions another hang up. He said, they be not deceived, adulterers. It's kind of quiet in here. But God's Holy Spirit knew you were going to be quiet Amen. right now. Amen. And sometimes it's good to be quiet. Amen. It's so quiet in here. I just heard a pin drop. Amen. Amen. <laughs> but he says adulterers. Those who are not married. And the Bible says in Matthew 24, he says, as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the days of the coming of the Son of Man. Amen. Everybody doing their own thing. Their own That's right. thing. Get your thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> do what you want to do. And that's what folks are doing. They say, it's my thing. I can do what I'm going to do. And I'm going to do <laughs> what I want to do. It may be your thing. Amen. Why? See, I tell a lot of men, you just thinking with the wrong head. Hey, amen, amen. Oh, boy, boy, shut up and move on. Come on, preacher. You say it's <laughs> my thing. Oh, yeah, we need some X-rated preaching in here. Amen. amen. I ain't going to hide nothing from you, amen, amen. amen. You see all this junk on TV, and then in church, you want to you wanna act like you ain't never heard it before, amen, <laughs> Don't trust. Why he said that? Because your body don't belong to you. You Amen. thought it, but it don't. It belong to God. Did you create yourself? No. He says, don't be deceived, adulterers. Mm -hmm. Then he mentioned this word infinite. Mm -hmm. There's some infinite people. Got some people soft. Infinity Christ. We got women, don't know they women. Mm -hmm. We got men, don't know they, women. Don't know they men. We got Steve, Amen Law, loving who? We got Eve, <laughs> loving who? You see, Steve, you do need Eve. Amen, Walt. Amen. In the beginning, he made male and female. female. Amen, Walt. That's right. He made Adam and Eve. And Eve. Not Adam and Steve. Amen. Amen. Too many Adams, you're hooking up with Steve. Amen. You never stay with Eve. Amen, Amen. Walt. Amen. I didn't expect no amen. <laughs> <laughs> but the Bible is right, Amen, Walt. That's we right. need to get back to telling the truth because the only thing that's going to set men free is the truth, amen, Walt. Now, there's a whole lot of churches you can go to and they ain't going to tell you the truth, that's but right, I guarantee right. you, uh, you, you, you head to uh, a place called H-E-L-L. -L. There ain't number two H's in the end. Heaven uh -huh. and hell. And I'm an old-time preacher. I ain't trying to change for this new generation this new generation need with my generation. What I grew, we grew up on the word, and you need the word. Amen. It's heaven and hell. Shall pass away. My word. But my word shall stand forever. Now let's finish the list, the hang-up list. Okay. In First Corinthians three. Are you there? He says, "No abusers, no abusers of themselves with mankind." All right. Mm -hmm. Then he mentions in verse 10, drunkards. There's some folk that love to get skunk drunk, amen, Walt. <laughs> he says, no, drunkards. That might be your hanger. And then he says, revivals. Always trying to get somebody just in an angry mood, 
stirred up with violence. Now in verse 10, he said, Thieves, is that your hang up? You got sticky hands, sticky fingers. He said, No, it's thieves. Thieves, mm -hmm. don't be deceived. He said, Covetous, everything you see, you want. Uh huh. All, 1 John 2, 16, all that's in the world is the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eye, and the pride of life. These things are not of the Father. They are of this world. I'm talking on hung up for your hang-ups. We all got to admit that we got hang-ups. And hear God talk about our hang-ups it's painful. But God got to make you mad so he can make you glad. He got to give you some pain so he can give you in the end gain. Amen, Walls. Say it again, boy. The list goes on. He says extortioners. Whole lot of extortioners in the world. Taking people's 401k. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Extortioners lie. You set it up just so you can get from them what yeah. you want. Amen. Walls. The Bible says, don't be deceived. He said, all of those folk on the hang up list shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Oh yeah, you got a right. You got a right to say yes to God. You got a right to say no to God. You got that right. But in the end, you're going to need Christ, the light, at the judgment. Amen, Wall. Amen. 9.27 is appointed to man once to die, and after this is the judgment. Amen. He will, in the end, judge us for our hang-ups. If you don't repent of them. I wish somebody would walk with me. Mm -hmm. You had to go borrow a crowd because y'all are pretty quiet. I don't know what y'all been there. First Corinthians uh, 6, 9 through 10 it, it is our hang-up list. Did you make the hang-up list? Did God mention your hang-up liar? Did God mention your hang-up stiller? Did God mention your hang-up drunkard? Did God mention your hang-up adulterer? Oh, yes. We all on the list. On the list. And I want you to be uncomfortable so in the end you can be comfortable. You see, the Bible says in, in Luke, uh, the 16th chapter, Abraham said to the rich man, now Lazarus is what? Comfortable. Uh -huh. he's, he's, he's in comfort yeah. and you are in pain, amen, Walk. See, at first, Lazarus at the gate was full of sores, full of pain, amen, wall. And you wouldn't even give him the crumbs that fell from your table, amen, wall. Amen. But now he's comfort, and you in torment. And see, I would rather now for you be tormented in your mind, listen to the word of God, so in the end, you'll be comfort. You'll be in Abraham's book. God ain't changing for you or me. And I know they got a whole lot of soft preachers. Mm -hmm. They'll tell you what you want to hear because they want your money. They want to, They want somebody in the seat. I ain't trying to get people in the seat. I'm trying to get people in heaven. I'm trying to get people in the book. I'm trying to get you in a relationship with God. Amen. Wow. So you can come in here and sit down and then go your way and do whatever you want. I ain't done, a, I ain't done no amen. good for you. Amen. Wow. Amen. I want to, I, 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 when you leave I hope you be thinking about this bald head preacher 10 hours from here. I hope you can't sleep at night. Mm -hmm. I hope you just pull the cover and say, this man messing with my mind, amen, Walt. Amen. Amen. Uh, I'm going to have to do something. I'm going to have to straighten up and fly right, right amen, amen Walt. Amen. Now, I want you to write this down, Galatians 5, 19 to 21. Mm -hmm. That's the other hang-up list. Yeah, I got you. We ain't going over that. But today... I'm close. I would rather fend you into heaven. I'm closing now, but I would rather fend you into heaven than flatter you into hell. Mm -hmm. Maybe, may this 
be your prayer on this day. If you got a hand, mm -hmm. dear Lord, dear Lord, I do have hang-ups, but I thank you for your hookup named Jesus on the cross. You see, the great denial in all of our lives is denial of sin. On the cross, Jesus was arrested so you could be free. Hunger! Follow hang ups. And I love that old cross. Mm -hmm. Where the dearest and best for a world of lost sinners was slain. It was slain to take away our shame. No, right now there is power in his name. Amen. Power! Deliver you from every one of your hang ups. God says, I'll deliver you from your hang up, but first let me do a hookup. Mm -hmm. I'm going to hang my son on the cross for your hang ups. You have a hang up. Jesus had a hang up. Where? Awaiting for him in Jerusalem. You see, Jerusalem, what did it mean for Jesus? It meant certain death. Amen. Today you can die to <laughs> sin. You see, God will not despise a broken and contrite, humble spirit. I'm hoping the word just breaking you up right now. You ever seen a wild bucking horse? And the rider rides him and rides him and rides him Amen. to no longer Stay he's on. bucking. And that's what God does our lives. He rides us with the word. He convicts us of sin, righteousness, and the judgment. He convicts our conscience. He rides us and rides us. Though we buck, he rides us more till all of a sudden we ain't 